Hello students, so welcome back. So uh, we are going to continue our lesson on uh, Form 2, Chapter 11 about stars. Okay, so uh, star and galaxy in the universe. So let's look at the characteristic of the star. So of course, uh, these are the characteristics that we can see, like the color, temperature, brightness, distance, and size. So um, you you. You want to see how hot the sun is, you need to see the color, the size, and the temperature. This is how we study it. Lah, huh? um, this one I don't think exam will come out. Lah, huh? Generally, star has color correspond to its surface temperature from very high to low, and this is the color temperature. So we got if red, orange, yellow, yellow. Oh god, like this, this question I remember um, one time I read and the question come up. And then we got bluish, white, and blue color. And uh, maybe you need to remember the order, but maybe you just remember a few lah. Huh? You, maybe you just remember that uh, for red is the less bright one, and blue is the most hot one. White color is the middle one. You just remember like that, and then um, red, and then to orange, then yellow, then uh, white, then blue. The the red one is not hot. The blue one is the most hot. Just uh, remember that. I don't think you need to remember the temperature. Lah, huh? If not, later too many things to memorize. But I didn't say exam won't come out. Lah. I just say that no need. Lah, huh? Don't need to use too many, too much time to remember this. Uh, this one, something like this is better. Lah, huh? the, the, the sequence of the um, temperature of the sun. Okay, so super giant, giant, then die already will become the dwarf. Star have different size called super giant, big star called giant star, while they are also called dwarf star. The brightness of star depends on its size, distance, and surface temperature. The brightness scar are serious and regal. See, this is uh, one of the names, huh? serious and regal. You can go Google and see the, the, the star. Okay, I still think it's very beautiful. Um, but sometimes it's the artistic effect means you take the picture but they edit the picture uh, the reason is is them there how to say uh, of course the picture you see sometimes edit uh, because the telescope is not like our eye you know sometimes the like uh, the camera the camera can see but you cannot see so in order to make you see the camera do something to let you see so doesn't mean when you see means it's like that maybe sometimes it's something that they cannot see but the computer can see so when the computer make the picture it is something like this picture but uh but it's quite it depends uh, it depends on what picture but sometimes you you cannot see huh? uh for example like the infrared uh i don't know some i don't i think some iphone iphone camera can like you People people close the door at night uh, you cannot see or but you open the infrared you can see oh there is a people there. So it's, it's something like that. You use infrared you cannot see but the computer can see and then the computer will draw something for you to see. Okay. So these are the maybe we did do a few questions so that we can understand more about this chapter. For the run show the object allocated in I say name the object. Can or not? Okay, I, I give you uh, four letters. Start from S. Star. Yeah, this is a star. I am so confused. Like, sometimes I look at I thought this is a sun or it's a white star or what. Okay, anyway, it's a star. What is the surface temperature range for this white star? Uh, okay, the white star will range around. 6,000 to 7,500 Kelvin. Kelvin, uh, not Celsius. Uh, Kelvin. Uh, but just different unit. Uh, huh? Just different unit. But we, we, we are not going to learn how to uh, convert it. Uh, just minus 273, you will get back Celsius. Uh, minus or plus. Uh, something like that. Uh, huh? But never mind, it's not that important. I mean, we are not into that topic, lah, so I don't want to go to that topic. The object has its own light. How does this 
happen? Okay, so the answer is at here why the star got is light. So why the star got light? So this will be the answer. Due to its gravity and pressure and temperature, it's too high a nuclear reaction will happen. You know nuclear, right? Nuclear reaction that happened in uh, Japan when there is World War II. Uh, at the same time, this process is also called a nuclear pro um, But it's a different thing. Like, what is nuclear fission? What is nuclear fusion? But never mind, you just remember nuclear. Huh? Nuclear reaction that will happen, that will take place. How? It's like a bomb. A lot of bomb is exploding at the sun where the hydrogen gas is turned into helium due to its gravity and by doing this there will be light energy release so that is a bomb so what is the bomb you know you you, you take the bomb and you put a lot of bomb 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 the sun that it got light because the bomb make the fire ma, make the light ma. but you just put a lot of bomb lah huh? so the bomb is a nuclear reaction what bomb is a hydrogen change to helium now the hydrogen it will combine and become helium so that will be the nuclear reaction that produce a lot of light energy can i can understand ah if you don't understand also never mind lah just uh understand little bit also never mind lah just remember uh what happened because there is a nuclear reaction nuclear reaction nuclear l-e-a-r nuclear reaction maybe you can say uh hydrogen will become helium and this this is the reaction that will produce a lot of light energy so that's why it got light uh, i write keyword lah it's remember to easier to remember keyword rather than you you read the whole book right so these are the few keyword on it huh? so when i mark i want to see the keyword the keyword is uh, nuclear reaction hydrogen helium heat and light energy being released so four keyword but why they got light so again uh, nuclear reaction is happening hydrogen helium heat and light energy is being released the sun is not a planet okay you say the sun is not a planet okay do you agree yes or no explain your answer yes very good because because it has its own light correct or not um the star has light planet don't have light huh? the earth don't have light why why does the sun appear bigger and brighter as compared to other star in the universe okay because it is closer to the earth very good a group of astronauts would like to carry a mission to Andromeda Galaxy which is near the Milky Way. Hi, it's one of our Milky Way friends, a good friend, using a spaceship. In your opinion, would this <laughs> mission be successful? Explain your answer. I, th I think previous video I, I accidentally mentioned already. Very good. So uh, this one, uh, you, you need to use your own answer. Lah, huh? Of course, the answer must be no. Lah, huh? Don't say go to other galaxy. Go to Mars also cannot. You want to say go to galaxy. Huh? No, because the diameter of the, you need to say a bit on uh, the distance. The diameter of the galaxy from Milky Way, actually Milky Way, uh, from one end of Milky Way go to another Milky Way, the distance of the Milky Way is already 200 billion light year. If you can move as far as light. Uh, and if you want to go to Andromeda, maybe it will take around 1000 light year. And it is too far. Like we talk about billion, you know, and how old is human? Human can reach until 99 years old only, or 100 years old. So the most, so before you reach there, you already die. Unless you put baby inside lah. You go put in the rocket, then you got baby, baby live in the rocket and die, die and then still got baby, baby live in the rocket and die, then still got baby, baby go. Do until billion, 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 billion of years. Maybe, maybe you can reach the destination, huh? but it's uh, impossible. First, it's impossible. Second, why you want to do that? 
it, it takes uh, thousands of generations to just to live in the rocket and why you want to do that or maybe millions of generations uh, not thousands uh, millions of generations to live inside a rocket in order to to reach the place if an astronomer design a vehicle that go can go to the sun what characteristic huh why is the question so weird one uh? behind a vehicle that can go to the sun what characteristic should this vehicle have to able to transport astronaut why the question so weird one uh? can i skip this question uh? i feel like doesn't make sense one can ask this question right man of course you say lah that maybe the thing can reflect heat or can block the heat but but even if you if you if you can go there also the gravity will kill you you will start to cannot breathe and your 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 lung will collapse and you will die because of the sun gravity no need to use the heat use the gravity also can kill the person so Never mind, I don't want to answer this question. I don't like this question. Damn. Don't like this question. So, if no question that I teach until here, I see you next week. And bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher.